I was doing many stuff in every place. We sailed from Canada down the Pacific coast to San Francisco, where we met Jean Mondo and we met our new sailboat project, an abandoned 33 footer at a closing down marina. When we first saw the new boat, we were a bit hesitant about taking on such a big project without any money. You're gonna have to use what you got until you can yeah, afford better ones. There's a bit of wood, woodwork inside to be done. I'm gonna have to like start stripping stuff. I mean, with 10, 12 grand, this boat is. Well, we did. It's a lot of money, though. I know, but yeah, I'm being realistic. Yeah. I'm just trying to think project by project. So we need to get the engine going. That could be easy, or that could be difficult. The engine, I guess, is the biggest. We determined what kind of repairs would cost us money and what could be done with a little spit and shine only. I wanna know you, girl, you know that I wanna kiss you, girl, you know that I wanna love you Every day and every night Upside down and inside out Girl, you know that I wanna know you, girl, you know that Gene used his pressure washer on the deck and we were on our way to transforming the big boat into our new home. Inside out, inside out. I'm show baby, I'm perfect size Lovers like me in the world there is no much I was in love before and I want to be sure I don't want my stuff in my little heart She likes meditation, that's why the connection She loves the nature, I see my future in her She take me to the sky when I look in her eyes We had no illusions though We had our work cut out for us I wanna know you, girl you know that I wanna kiss you we moved Little My Way from the anchorage to the marina to prepare both boats for their first crossing of San Francisco Bay together. So for the time being, we have two boats. Robbie and I started by tearing out anything moldy, flaking or falling apart. Then Robbie and Jean moved on to the task of starting up that Volvo Penta that probably hadn't been started in more than a decade. Got a sail bag full of garbage. It's starting to look like a normal boat. Yeah, just spit and shine and she's with back on. on flat. Give me the WD-40 for this. We have this right. manual crank. Crank. Okay, crank. It's trying. We can get the engine to crank over with more strength. Now let's check the voltage on this battery. 12.5. Okay, 12 .8. let's do a charger on this one too to add more to it just for now. Oh, it's putting the spark there. Yeah, me too. It didn't see. We got nothing. That's not right. There it is. See that? Yeah, yeah. No contact on this thing. We got to do this over. Look it. There's no contact at all. See all the white stuff? Yep. Do you have a brush? What we did is we checked it. Now we got spark there. And then we had no contact here. Now when we clean this, this one, we didn't get spark on the other side of this thing, which means there was no contact between here and here. Now that I've cleaned it, let me stick it on here. I'm going to twist it. Now we should get spark here. We do. See? So now we know it's getting contact. So just that so little bit of corrosion. Not, not a, yeah, it was corrosion. It wasn't that good, but see how it went away? Let's do it again. Mm. So now we're getting a little bit. So it's better. We still want to clean it. Let's brush it some more. Just yeah, so put it on here again. Okay, let's tighten let's it up with that pliers. Okay, let's see if it cranks. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to crank now. 
Excellent. It's going to start. Did you hear that? Yep. Poor man's starting food. Okay. Mechanic in a bottle. Is it a lubricant? Is it no, a... No, that's actually a, a combustible. It's a com oh. It's, it's like a spraying combustible. Fuel. Then if it fires... Yeah. If it... You, you, you know, do like this, you go, ta 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 and then you give it another, ch yeah. ta 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 and you kind of keep it going. Okay, but let me get in position and get ready. Okay, give me a squirt. Yeah, we should remove the, the air filter. How many meters getting past the air filter? It may or may not. So we have to find out why it's not getting, it may not be getting past it, like you say. Oh, you know what? You can go right here. Here, look. The vacuum hose. You want to try shooting it in here? Yeah, sure. Our dear friend lent us a big box full of power tools, and we continued on scraping and taking inventory of what was in the new boat. In, a, in better condition than the main, eh? Eventually our time was up at the marina. Both boats had to be moved somewhere where we could stay for free. I sailed my way, and Robbie took the new boat out for her first spin, heading past Alcatraz to the anchorage in Sausalito, escorted by Jean on his sailboat, Carmela. Even my way's got a beautiful ship from up here. fired up the borrowed generator and got back to work, helped by Celine, Robbie's mother, who came to visit us here in San Francisco. Now, with bare fiberglass walls and ceilings, we made our first monetary investment on the new boat, buying a two-part paint that seals and protects the fiberglass. boats in Sausalito has been a challenge, with high winds, heavy traffic, and a little bit of dragging anchors. Mm -hmm. 
the wind. Owning two boats is all of the pleasure and excitement of owning one boat, but with the problems and horrors of owning two boats. Come and check this out with me. A through hull which has no sea cock, it has no way of closing, like this one here, for example lever that I can pull and close it up. But this one here, the hose that was the only thing keeping it from gushing water out decided to pop off and we have a nice hole in the bottom of our boat here. This would definitely sink a boat. Celine and I happened to be here when it happened. We were able to hammer in a plug here and the water you see there now is coming in slowly, daily just through the wood, seeping through the wood itself. I was hoping to never have to use this can of stay afloat, but I have it on there as just an extra precaution and want to put some from the outside. Maybe on a warm day we can jump in the water and plug it from the outside as well. I've tried to make this whole bulkhead in here watertight just in case the wood comes off or something else fails, just as this did already stuffing foam in any holes that's in the that are in the bulkhead here and some gorilla tape on top. Our reason number one to haul out the boat right now other than cleaning the bottom This whole roof is made out of solar panels how did you like your stay on my way? Well, that was great. It's quite spacious, actually. <laughs> There's lots of space, enough, enough to survive. It was nice. And we didn't feel cold, and it was comfortable and cozy. And we had great lunch and dinners with Robbie. And Celine helped us to clean up Rosa. I think I'm going to call her Rosa for now. She helped us to clean up. She sanded and oiled and what else did you do? You did a lot of work on her. Painted the roof white after you removed all that fabric, dirty material stuff. And then we've been epoxying all the holes. We've been putting some epoxy putty in the holes to make it smooth and nice. So yes, I, I did the prep with you. Mm -hmm. And then I oiled all the wood that was prepped by you nicely. So it's looking good now. It's looking... We are nearly ready to move in. Yay! And they're weird. So when are we going to see you again, Celine? We're going to see you... I'm going to see you again in Mexico. Hope so. I'm hoping to fly from the east coast of Mexico and meet you on the west coast of Mexico and we're gonna sail down the coast. It's gonna be nice. I've never been on that part of Mexico. I'm very excited. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so excited! Yeah! Very exciting! We've met some friendly folks here in the Bay and we're happy to have had the opportunity to stay here in California. It won't be long now until we haul out the big boat, clean the bottom side, and continue down the coast. Thanks as always to our patrons of the Sailing Arts. We picked up some sweet recycled material, soy ink postcards. That can be yours if you decide to fund our movie making magic too. Visit this link for more info.